hello guys welcome to my channel techmon.in in this tutorial i will show you how we can explore and manipulate data in PySpark. so for this i'll be using the us country's covid19 data set which is available on kegel so let's get started uh, i'll be creating a new notebook here so keeping all the settings default yep it shouldn't take too long to create it let me rename it versus maybe there is already a project with the same name yeah so uh, since we'll be installing a couple of packages uh, let's um, to uh, ensure that internet is on it is loaded so it print out the path of the CSV uh, let's install the packages we can uh, install the packages uh, from Jupyter Notebook itself any terminal command must begin with a exclamation sign so meanwhile it is running so what else we can do we can uh, list the files and uh, folders available in this directory using uh, that is we can run the ls command we can also just uh, check the present working directory so meanwhile it is uh, loading let me proceed so we can give titles so this one will be loading the data set and yeah so uh, how we are going to uh, move ahead with this is we don't have on cable we don't have entire uh, cluster setup available for PySpark so we won't be uh, doing uh, that way so what we'll do we'll be uh, loading our uh, csv using pandas and we'll convert the pandas data frame into pyspark so uh, the main advantage of pyspark is the distributive programming which uh, here is not being uh, taken uh, advantage of uh, but so for the learning purposes uh, and since our data is not large enough we'll be good with that so as we can see we have installed the package here uh, also there is only single file in this location which is underscore underscore notebook so underscore underscore dot i by notebook and the present working directory is kegel working so let me um, pdf pandas data frame let me read the file read csv this is our data set just to ensure it has been loaded we'll just print the top two rows now we'll be uh, so we'll have, uh, have first have to initialize the uh, spark so for that we'll be importing import by spark import spark and uh, we'll have to create a spark context here context and it takes a parameter app name devices let me and let's print also uh, as uh, you might be already aware of we can also write the sql queries under spark so we'll also be uh, creating an object to enable that as you can see here uh, since it printed out the app name and we can see the version of spark this means that uh, our spark is up and ready also uh, as I mentioned we will be also exploring how we can uh, write SQL queries in spark so for that we will have to uh, load and uh, create another object which is from pyspark.sql import sql context and let's create an object of that text and get 
capítulo 10. So, this means that we have created the object. Also, we'll be loading another um, uh, set of libraries, basically the functions. functions as uh, in f we have many many functions available like minimum maximum sum average and uh, count distinct are some of those and we'll be exploring them for our analysis so in this let's create uh, or convert on does data frame into by spark my bad uh, so Spark data frame equals to now we'll be using SQL context for accessing the Spark functionalities and to create data frame we'll be using create data frame and we'll be passing the pandas data frame here just like that and STF is now uh, the Spark data frame. And just like we have head function in pandas, we'll be using show function in Spark. So it will be converting all the rows and columns into this. As you can see, now the data uh, is in Spark data frame. And these are the top five uh, records. So uh, first, uh, as you can see here, uh, as we can see here, we have date-wise records for each of those uh, country and state, and these are the number of cases uh, and death uh, in this uh, country and state. So since uh, for now we'll be uh, uh, picking up the latest date and we'll. Uh, get the records of that only so let's uh, explore first the filter function uh, capability of PySpa so I'll be using first let's get the latest date how there are multiple uh, ways to do that but one of the best is to use aggregate function uh, on uh, the entire data set will be uh, aggregating that is taking uh, uh, applying some function like I'll be taking the maximum maximum of this date column date and we can also give uh, 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 aliases to that and that will be substitute name alias and that will be max date now first let me uh, print that out for you so as you can see uh, the latest is of a data available on uh, here is of 4th of uh, uh, 3rd of april uh, also before we move ahead i'll also like to show you how we can do this in SQL. So for that, first we'll have to register this data frame as an SQL table. So for that, we'll be doing register temp table as a temporary table and we'll be giving as COVID data. So once I've done that, this entire data frame, which you can see here, will be in a, some temporary uh, location will be stored as a SQL data. Now, since we have execute, uh, stored uh, it as SQL, we can use this, use the SQL queries. So just to repeat the same operation here, SQL context. Uh, now, uh, uh, earlier we saw uh, create data frame function of SQL context now we will explore SQL so in SQL I'll be writing my query which is select we are taking a max of date so max of date from we are loading it from which uh, database this table this table basically right so now I'll be assigning it to 
let's say right using sql now let me again do a show uh, we can also pass uh inch oh there's something what wrong sorry my bad it uh, treated it as a string instead of column and also we had to give the alias so i'll be giving the same alias so our query is select max from this column data and give it rename it as max data and the table is covid19 let me run it again select as Oh, my bad, totally my bad, it is straight here. So as you can see, it gives the same output as the above. Now, uh, since uh, uh, we, we can write any function uh, of SQL function here and do that ways, but I find it uh, easy to use uh, PySpark functions and queries. Uh, though uh, one uh, no, uh, note here is that even, uh, no matter whether we use the native functions of PySpark or we write our queries in SQL, there is no computationally difference, uh, computation difference between the two. Both are equally, uh, um, both have equal performance. So now we have the max data. We'll be collecting this date basically how will we do that so currently it is a spark data frame uh, and we will uh, not as a value basically so if i do type of t so uh, it is a spark data frame now we can also fetch it as a value for that what we'll be doing we'll using a collect operation so what collect does is see it uh, converts the entire data entire data no matter how many rows and columns it has uh, into a uh, python uh, list you can say but uh, be cautious here since the data uh, here the data i've collected contained only single column and single row basically single value it is uh, okay to do that but if your data is uh, containing millions of record then uh, your by application python code may crash so be uh, aware of the uh, fact that you cannot collect large data but only small or sh uh, very limited amount of data only uh, but as you can see we are seeing it as a list but we don't want it as a list we want it as a value so let me show you we'll be taking a since oh, there's only one value here i'll be picking up first record uh, as you can see my first uh, value has been picked here and from this i want my max date so so now i have my max date so i'll assign this to a variable so uh, as a recap uh, what we did we uh, uh, first aggregated uh, over the entire data and calculated the uh, max date for using sql functions and as well uh, using pyspark uh, functions and as, as well as uh, sql queries then what we did we collected this uh, date max date into python which is uh, a python list now there could if there were multiple values here they will be uh, this list had more than one size but it contained only one value so this list has a single size so we picked uh, the first value of uh, at index zero uh, from this data frame and then uh, as you can see it is a row object and it has a key value pairs so we wanted the data in max date uh, key. So I ne next I passed max data as a key and now I have the date. 
so since uh, the whole purpose of doing this we wanted to filter the data that is we only wanted to bring the records belonging to the most recent date so now i'll show you now we can filter the data here sdf filtered so sdf where my bad we can use where now f dot uh, we can just simply write our date equal to i'll be using formatting dot format and we'll pass this as a date so also before that let's check uh, how many uh, records this data frame had so this data frame had uh, over 30,000 records all right and after that uh, so after I filtered this data let's see how many records we are left with first I'll uh, sh show some of the records then I'll print the count So we are only left with 2357 records after this. So uh, let me draw a parallel with SQL. So with SQL, we'll have to write it. Uh, we'll be using the same query, but this time we will write select star because we want all the columns from covid data where now we will be using where condition with date equals to uh, string formatting format and i'll be passing latest not this but latest date which we have here right so let's uh we can in show we can either pass the number of uh, records we want to show one two and so on uh, by default it prints out the maximum of 20 records so as we can see here on, uh, it prints 20 records if i want less i can just mention it here and uh, as you can see here uh, let me also print the count just to show you uh, 2357 records so we can uh, use sql queries as well and uh, Python uh, objects, uh, PySpark objects directly, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, there are no, not uh, a, uh, any difference in computation. So that is for uh, that is all for now. I'll be continuing uh, in another lecture. The uh, for, uh, in this we have only covered filter, but uh, there are a lot of things we we'll, uh, we do with PySpark. We can do with PySpark just like pandas. We can do group pies. We can do joins. We can do union alls. We can also apply the window functions. Uh, 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 window by window functions I mean that if you are a uh, SQL user, so you know or there are partition bias. We can also apply them here, uh, both using uh, SQL queries and also separately using the Spark data frames. So I'll be covering them in upcoming lecture. So that is for all for now. Hope you like it. And if you have any doubts, please uh, share them in the comment box. Thank you very much.